Hello, hello. Welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. This video shout out goes to Bent7720. Thank you for your continued support. And we're going to dive into the Demon of Doubt Part 2 because this goes right in alignment with the new blog post and this month February 2022, this month's free monthly newsletter about how to overcome that self-doubt. Because every single one of us, every single one of us that comes out of that narcissistic abuse situation, we all have little bits of those what we call narcissistic fleas. And I do refer to them as the demon spirits because that is, like I say in the blog, precisely what they are. And as a reminder, and for those who have not heard so yet, many of them are low level. And also, that free monthly newsletter, if you have signed up and did not receive the copy, then I would like for you all to send me an email it's in the video description and let me know that because there is that disclaimer at the bottom of the website where I did say allow one to two days for delivery because sometimes it can take that long for it to even get through in my admin page. It's just, that's just the way it works. That's the website. I, it took a little while for me to figure that out. And so, if you're still patiently awaiting a copy, you didn't get it today, the first of every month, I send it out. And if you did not receive your copy, drop me an email and I will get that right out to you. Empaths, you never, we, okay, empaths never get them all, okay? We've never been struck with that high pride. We never succumb to everything. Whether we realize it or not, we never did succumb to everything the narcissistic abuser wanted us to. Because we want to remember this very important point about the abuser. Is that as soon as they lose control of anything, okay, especially our mind, that drives them nuts. And we'll cover more on that later. But let's go to the Demon of Doubt Part 2. Because here are some additional things to watch out for as you are getting yourself out from under that with the Heavenly Father. Never forget, always turn it over to God and let Him help you. He will guide you. Let Jesus do what He's got to do in there. Remember, all of this in the healing process includes not resisting Jesus, not resisting the Holy Spirit. Don't resist the change. And it's a gradual change. It's a very parallel, subtle change that goes right along with how the grooming of narcissistic abuse, especially on that societal level, has over years and years and years of conditioning and grooming. Well, the same thing's going to happen when God wakes us up. He's turning everything back around. So we all, that's the, oh, big time why we're big on really, first and foremost, it's like not just have you accept that it happened and then you start focusing on your healing and the recovery, but also really unlearn and get rid of that indoctrination of impatience because we really start to understand the further along we get on the spiritual journey in God's reality, we really start to understand the importance of letting patience have her perfect works because there's a lot of things that God and Jesus are going to help you undo. And part of that is getting rid of those demon spirits, the low level one, and the demon of doubt. Yes, it can be overcome. Absolutely. But we want to help you identify when it's trying to creep in there. Alright, so here's another thing that demon of doubt will do is it will trick the person into feeling unsure. Unsure about themselves. Unsure about their abilities. It will make them feel uneasy. Okay, and also, like I said elsewhere, it is going to 
cause the person to be afraid to try new things, to be afraid to get outside of that comfort zone. And remember, like I said in the newsletter and elsewhere, and many others are sharing this because there's so much truth to it, that that comfort zone, yeah, it might be a nice place, but nothing's going to grow there. And God wants us to grow. And by doing so, that's when we can bring all of what God put inside of us to do His will, we can bring it to fruition. That's what He needs us to do. As I talk about in a previous video, when I speak about the importance of why God needs us to bear fruit. And to bear that fruit is to be able to get back inside ourselves and go, okay, what are these skill sets and talents and things like that? What are they? Because many of us got tricked in a narcissistic abuse situation to put our passions, our dreams, our goals on the back burner. And as I say in the blog also, that's what the enemy wants. Because anything that is righteous and noble, that's good in the eyes of God, the enemy doesn't want us to do that. And that's too bad because when God wakes us up, we start to figure it out. And then you find other people like you're on this channel. And we're all working together to help each other overcome things. And so this video, I want to help you all overcome that demon of doubt. Anytime you want to try something new. Okay, let's say you have identified, oh, okay, you remember something. You're like, oh, you remember a skill set. And you're like, okay, so now what? What do I do with that? Then the demon of doubt will try to creep in there and try and trip you up and get you lost and confused. It's, oh my gosh, that's a big one, you all. That cloud of cognitive dissonance, that confusion inside of all of that are those low-level demon spirits. I know, I'm going to let that sink in. And as always, don't hesitate to ask questions about that. Because we will dive into more of all of that later on and down the road. Because there's so much to unpack with all of the things that go on in the spiritual realm. It is, sometimes it seems like it's amazing. But I love it, when, again, like I said before, I love it when God surprises me. And this demon of doubt, what we want you all to do is okay so you recognize you remember now a skill set that you have all right it it could be anything and believe it or not many of us we have more than one skill set we truly do and it takes a little while to sort through all of them but once we start remembering okay wait a minute all right now so you start with one though. I always recommend one because it's one day at a time. It's one step at a time. Baby step. God knows this. He not again because God doesn't just I mean and we want to be thankful too that when he woke us up and he's starting to he's starting to bring everything back in the upright position where it's supposed to be and so you can re basically you start relearning about you at the same time about God because remember when we were let's just say when the script was flipped on us for so long we didn't really get to know God that well but now when he wakes us up gets us out of that narcissistic abuse situation and starts to help us clear that cobweb, the, that cloud of cognitive dissonance, okay, that brain fog, start to help that lift and then you can start looking inward and go, okay, and start remembering because inside there is your purpose, all right, and there's going to be many things that go with that and that's why I say many of us find out that we do wear many hats. And you will too. Don't worry. If you haven't, again, as I say often, if you haven't gotten there yet, don't give up. You got to hang in there. But when you recognize that feeling of uneasiness, okay, now you, you remember this skill set. You're like, okay, say, all right, Heavenly Father, what am I supposed to do with this? And He will guide your steps. You got to let Him. And he will guide your steps. And you'll start wanting to think of, okay, doing research is not that difficult at all these days. I mean, let's face it. We have access to, again, yes, misinformation and then good information, the correct information. 
And it all starts with the Bible. I say that often for a reason. Because your answers, whatever it is you're experiencing or going through, a lot of your answers are inside the Bible always. And then you branch out. Say, okay, what was your dream? What was, a dream? what was your dream and how did it evolve? Because believe it or not, whether we knew it during all of that abuse, that we endured all that conditioning and all that grooming on a societal level and an in individual level, okay, in that individual relationship, all right, everything. We were still evolving in the background. That's the best way to look at it. We were still evolving in the background. So, those skill sets, everything from and it, many of us, it's unfortunate, but many of us have had a lot of different jobs. So we want to sit down and think about, okay, what did we learn from each one of those experiences? And then write it down, okay? That's your action step. Write it down. It's like I said in the previous video because it's so important. Once you write it down, go, okay. And then now you're like, all right, so which ones ring a bell because God will help you remember all right whatever it was that you were really really because every one of us had a passion about something especially when we were younger and then we want to sit and think about okay because see the demon of doubt is going to try to make you or trick you into thinking that you can't still do that and remember the devil is a liar what God needs everyone to remember is looking at that list of skill sets. You'll amaze yourself. That'll be God surprising you that you, you're going to have a list that's going to be a good list. Okay? You're going to have a lot of things that, wait a minute, <laughs> yeah, it'll be one of those light bulb moments. And what you'll do is you'll go through each one of them and you'll say, okay, and then your purpose it will start to come back together. It'll start to come back to the forefront. God will show you. And when he does, that's when you'll take and analyze all of those different skill sets and go, okay, and you know, think about the stage of life you're in now, how old you are now. Say, okay, because really age is nothing but a number. I mean, we can learn anything. If we were, if, all right, you gotta be willing to learn new things. That's the thing, all right? And then you want to say, okay, does this align, which of those skill set aligns with your purpose, okay? And so I will briefly go ahead and share a little example. Now, way back, yes, as for those who have not heard this yet, and as a reminder for those who need it, back in the day, <laughs> all right, when I went after a modeling dream, now, mind you, I got a lot of great pictures, yes, okay, and I learned a lot. So what God had me do was say, okay, analyze all of the different skill sets that you picked up during that phase, okay, or season, if you will, of life. And even though, I'll go ahead and share it with y'all, okay, I'm five foot eight. And you put a pair of heels on me, I'm easily six foot one. However... <laughs> At the time, in that industry, I was considered too short. Okay? So, that's how come that did not pan out. And, not to mention the fact, I wasn't doing anything wicked to make it to the top. I've never been that type of person. I don't believe in that. And, it's wrong. So, we all know what I'm talking about there. So, that's another reason why. And I didn't kiss butt. <laughs> I still don't. All right. That's always been with me. I've never been a butt kisser. So, anyhow, but that's what happened with that. But the skill sets were still there. All right. And so now, as we continue to learn, and, and the more videos we do, the more, the, well, with new technology. There's so many different things that we start figuring out. Oh, and those skill sets, how they fit into alignment with our purpose. All right. So, and you all can see that in the video thumbnail. And where I'm, yes, wearing some things from our store. And just 
basically promoting and marketing. Okay, so we got to do that if that's what is in you, if that's what your purpose is, and if that's how it comes together for you, then you'll figure out, oh, okay, and then that's why. And it dawned on me, God revealed it to me and said, that's why you went through that season in your life, not because you were going to, you know, become an actual model per se, but God knew I was going to need those skill sets to do exactly what I'm doing today to help you all heal and grow spiritually. So there's your example. And and food for thought always. So when you if you feel that demon of doubt is creeping up on you, because it will, it'll make you feel unsure. It'll make you hold yourself back, essentially, like most of the negative demon spirits like to do, is to trip people up into holding themselves back. Because the reality is, when you get in God's reality, and you realize that you can create your reality in God's reality, in God's truth always, all right, in His reality, you will do His purpose for you, and in doing so, you will discover a lot of things that were taught to you in the first two realities are not true and especially you you know what we're a lot of us are having this current conversation because it's so true that we don't listen to what the outside world tries to tell us they are they try to tell us who we are we're like no you don't know who we are we figure out who we are in christ and that's that's it and we don't have to we don't owe them an explanation all right the world wants to shape us to be of this world. We're not of this world, empath. <laughs> That's just as plain and simple. Empath, you are not, we're not of this world. God tells us that in scripture all the time. It's why we were bullied and picked on and, well, duped. Real, I mean, it's why. But we never got so duped to where God couldn't wake us up. So never forget that, all right? Because remember, the ones who are still sleeping, it's unfortunate. And again, always we pray for them that one day they hear God's call like we did. And so that demon of doubt wants to become part of your daily living. That's the big thing, okay? It wants you to get out there. Let's stop and think about how the narcissistic abuser, they, they doubt everything, okay? They doubt everybody. They doubt everything. Thing. They doubt themselves on a constant basis, and they project that outward. That's how we end up getting the fleas, everyone, through that spiritual energy transfer. And it's that little, you know, the demon spirit, those negative, it's those negative voices that get inside the head and try to tell you that you're not good enough. That's another thing that the demon of doubt loves to try and do, is to get you to believe that you can't do what God put in you to do. And that's not true. God wants me to remind you all that he did not put it in you if he didn't think you could do it. He put it in you because he knew you could do it and knew you would and he knows you will. Okay, that's the truth right there. That's God's truth. He's like, everybody has a purpose. It's like I said in the blog, everybody's got a purpose. God did not put us here without a purpose. And he's not going to give us a purpose that we can't do. Stop and think about that. Let that sink in. But the demon of doubt wants to trick everyone into thinking that you can't do that. Or that you can't do that. All right, and you'll be amazed when you go through that list of skill sets and how what God starts to reveal to you. Oh, yes, you will. I, I'm telling you. And again, it's a process. It, it, we got to really work on that. Don't You don't want it. Don't expect an immediate response from God because that's not how he works. All right, he's going to give you time to ponder over that. He's going to give you time to make the list. And he's also going to give you the time to remember everything he needs you to remember. So it might take you a few days. It might take a week to make that list. And that's okay because God knows. Remember, again, as always, he's Alpha and Omega. 
He know he knew you. Oh gosh, yeah, never forget Jeremiah one five, everyone. God knew he made the unique, beautiful you that you are. In him. Yeah, in his image. And wow, yeah, you cannot. Oh gosh, it's a beautiful thing when you finally get that let that sink in and go, Oh, so whatever it is that he put in you, you will figure it out on that list. And he will help you remember, okay? But the demon of doubt doesn't want you to remember that. That's the other thing. So let's, let's go into another example. This is going to be a good one because I know that learning new tech, all right, can be a bit intimidating. I understand that. We all went through that be at the beginning stages of when we remember, just think back and remember the very first smartphone you ever got. And how long it took you to have to learn all of the apps and the features, how it worked and things like that. I mean, the very first, and many of us, hey, guess what? We still don't know everything there is to know about our smartphones, okay? That's an ongoing process. And I, I that's another thing that I developed a liking and we're going to get into a little bit more of that later on. But I developed a liking for new, you know, new technology, okay? Because it, if, when you're using it for the right reason, it's a wonderful thing. And you'll come to realize that it's not scary. And what happens is, see, this is part of getting out from under that stronghold of the demon of doubt, okay? This is one of those, like, okay, you know what? God put something in your spirit. You've gone through that list. You're like, okay, you start to remember. I, this is my passion. This is what God put in me now. You say, Heavenly Father, what's the next step? And he's going to show you. And that next step often involves a little bit of research. To go and learn some additional skills that are inside. That Let's say one or two of those skill sets you figured out. That's where your purpose lies, okay? It's all part of a package deal. Just like the demon spirits are often a package deal. But when you're getting yourself out from under that demon of doubt, one way to do it is just, again, like you get started, okay? You do some research. You know, there's all kinds of how-tos. Like I said in the previous videos, there's all kinds of resources available out there. And if you would like some help with that, as always, don't hesitate to reach out. And we can work on it together as well. You know, you don't have to go it alone. I mean, God is with you always, so you're not alone. But many of us, we're out here to help you out with that too. So never hesitate to reach out, because sometimes it does help to have an, a separate pair of eyes going over something with you because it's kind of similar to how a lot of y'all oh by the way congrats i can see the progress god can see it too and you're doing great i know even if you can't see it that's the thing a lot of times we don't necessarily see our own progress because we're busy growing and learning and healing and gathering new Okay, new skill and learning new things, new ways to get stuff done. And we don't always see the progress. And so that's why when you have someone else, just like anytime I get an email or I get a message or whatever from one, you know, y'all and you share something with me and I'm like, okay, that's progress. And I know it's like, wait, oh, that's true. No matter how small, no matter how small. So keep up the good work, everyone. I We see it. We see it. It's, it's happening, even if you don't. And that's why a lot of times it does help to have a separate set of eyes or a, you know, let's say another person taking a look from the outside in to help you see what you might not be seeing or, you know, that kind of thing at this particular moment. And it, it's very helpful too okay very helpful and that's what we're here for is the uplifting thing all right so coming out from underneath the stronghold of the demon of doubt anytime you find yourself you you go and you're like all right you've done there's your skill set you've got a couple of them and you're like all right so now you're like okay god tells you where you're going to take that next the next step and you go and attempt it and then you might okay here's the here's what to watch out for and you might have this little feeling of you know, a little bit of anxiousness, that demon of anxiety. But you're like, okay, no, no, no. You've overcome that. And then 
And then that demon of doubt might kind of, you know, try to sneak in there and go, wait a minute, are you sure about that step? When God has already showed it to you, God has already told you that that next step is the one you're supposed to take. But see, the demon of doubt wants to try to get in there and go, are you sure? So if you ever find yourself thinking that about yourself, that's the demon of doubt. You rebuke it in the name of Jesus because God has already shown you, just like I said, already shown you that's the next step. And you're, and then once you get, you're like, ah, demon of doubt, go away in the name of Jesus, okay? And it has to go. And once that happens, you get rid of it and your intuition can speak to you and go, mm-hmm, you know that that is the next step you're supposed to take. And so you always want to be vigilant and aware. We say that a lot for a reason because even though, believe it or not, you guys, even though, yes, we deliver ourselves out from under it and it, not a, it's not a one-time deal i want everyone to understand that it's not a one-time deal okay it's not it's an ongoing remember it's a spiritual battle okay a spiritual battle that starts within first okay and you'll get the hang of it and once you get the hang of rebuking okay left and right and it, it becomes second nature Alright, and once you get into that habit, okay, a good habit of doing that and always turning it over to God, and then you're able to stay focused, stay focused on your purpose, alright, you're able to do that a lot easier when you're just like, mm-hmm, no, go away, go away, you know, you'll know, you'll sense it, it's all part of that spiritual energy transfer, because there's one thing about the low-level demon spirits, okay, and they will always, because remember, they're always circling in the spiritual realm. All right? Every single one of them, they're always circling. Remember, because they're trying to look for a human host all the time. All the time. It, ne it never ends. So that's why we say, got to armor up. You got to put on that spiritual armor every single day. And even if you got to reapply it, yes. <laughs> okay, I'll share it with y'all. I had to put it on twice today. Alright, and it works. I'm telling you, it works. And it doesn't matter if you got to put it on five times a day. However many times you got to put it on, put it on. Alright, because that's what God gave it to us for. Anytime we need it is to put that sucker on. Alright, and you, again, for those who may need a little bit of a pointer, that you can find that spiritual armor in Ephesians 6. Okay, it's all right there. I mean, I would recommend bookmarking that sucker and then study it until you memorize it, okay? And don't forget this too with scripture. God gives us additional scripture that we can we can make a mold into our own prayer with him, okay? He does, all right? We're allowed to do that. In fact, all of God's word is for us. Okay, it's for us to feed that Holy Spirit and to learn and to get closer to the Godhead. And that's what these demon spirits don't want. But the closer to him you get, the easier it is to send the demon spirit and get rid of it. Alright, that's how you want to work that one. And so, as always, though, you start to feel, anytime you will start to feel unsure about something about you, just know that that is the demon, that is the demon spirit of doubt, trying to get, a, trying to get that stronghold. And when you recognize that, no, okay, because you know by the time you're getting reconnected to mind, body, and spirit, and you start remembering your purpose, and you know who you are in Christ, oh, then you know you. And that is it, and God, because God already does, so he wants you to know you the way he knows you. All right, everyone, as always, if you have any questions, you know where to reach me. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching and for your support. Until next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.